What a scary place. Hopefully I can find something interesting. Okay, we are in the wine cellar. Welcome back to Tales of the Neon Sea. Thank you for joining me. Uh, okay, so we were on a little bit of a side quest here. Um, so we have this cellar to look around. See what we can find here. Okay, the bottles on this wine stand are placed in a particular order, but some of the bottles are missing. Okay, no wine bottle there. What's this? That does nothing. No wine bottles. Okay, so I can only select the empty chambers and this one that seems to be blocked in. So I'm guessing maybe if we get them filled up, it'll open up this thing maybe? So I'm assuming... Okay, remember, these do have numbers on them as well. That may be relevant. Okay, well, we'll uh, come back to that. I'm, I'm guessing there must be some wine bottles around somewhere else in here. So that's where we came in. What have we got here? Uh, three pointers, the same length. Does this mean they can be set to random order? Strange. Okay, so it's a clock. We've got, uh, we've got turn clockwise, switch the pointer. Okay, so we've got red, a yellow, and a green. Uh, we can turn them clockwise or anti-clockwise. Okay. What else can we find? Oh, what an interesting monkey mask. Judging by the design, it must have a secret compartment. Okay, we can select the teeth. Oh, okay. Oh, it stayed up that time. Hmm, okay. Let's come back to that. I'm guessing there must be some kind of other things around that might give clues to how to solve some of these puzzles. Uh, this cabinet's locked. I need to find the key. Okay. What's this? Make a monkey out of you. A bizarre cross stitch from long ago. Oh, look at this. Alternating monkeys. That could line up with the teeth. Um, so the crosses... Okay, we want to get rid of the crosses, maybe. Let's see if that works. Uh, okay, so these ones are gone, right? So it's alternating this way. There we go. Oh, you see that? The bottle turned up. Uh, Home-brewed white wine, number something 10, something something 9, a bittersweet taste. Alright, so we have a bottle. Oh, what's that? Oh, do you, do you put the bottle in there? Hold on, let me just check something. No wine bottle. Okay, so I can't load, unload. No, so I've got nothing to put in there. That doesn't let me the bottle, put the bottle there, but I can put the bottle into this hole. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's given us a key. Classic bronze star key. Well, what was missing the key? Oh, that drawer. Okay, this drawer. So, um, okay, yeah, so it's been actually a few days since I last played this. Uh, I've been just been over the Christmas period and whatever, so for me it's just after Christmas. Um, I had a pretty good time. It's uh, always nice to have, have some time off and uh, spend some time with family and stuff. Uh, hopefully you had a great time. Looking forward to New Year. Um, anyway, several ripped poker cards. So we've got the Queen of Spades. We've got some hearts that would potentially be... The Nine of Hearts, maybe? And the Five of Clubs. I'm guessing. I think that's how those the patterns would, would uh, work out to be. Nine Hearts. Oh, no. I was thinking about the, um, the clock for a moment there. So the Queen would be like 12. Red Nine. But then this, it was red and, uh, red and green and stuff, wasn't it? So, okay. The five and nine, maybe. Uh, did we look over these barrels at all? There's nothing there. Well, there's nothing else, I guess. So let's have a look. We have 
So the red was nine, right? So let's just see if this works. Let's put this round to nine. Um, switch the pointers so then, but then the yellow. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That. Oh no, look, that's got a diamond on it. That has a diamond. Well, does that matter? And what's about this one? Is that? I mean, that's. What is that? Hmm. It was nine. Okay. Because it was spades and clubs, but that doesn't seem to relate. But it was nine. It was twelve and five. Right. The other numbers. Oh, I did something. I don't know if the colours matter. It's something. What have I got? 2119 uh, Yarrow Maxi area, one of the most cosy wines of recent years. Can we put that in there as well? No. Does this go... Okay, so we can put that in there. What, what have we got? Two, one, oh look, 2119. Yes, that is 2119. Yes, we'll put that in there. And look, these have arrows on them. That way, that way, and then that one, the number six bottle, has a, an arrow kind of pointing the other way. Okay. But that still leaves us several bottles short. So that's just the monkey thing. I don't think that. Well, we've done that one. So we can actually we can select this again. Maybe we do different combinations of the colours. Maybe I'm just trying to remember what I what I did before. It was uh, five, nine, and twelve. No, so that combination doesn't work. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me just have a look around, just in case there's some other clues. Look, look, look hold on. There's something. What's above that? Oh, hang on. Those, what are those numbers there? Uh, what's that? That's nine. Nine four and what? That be eleven. Nine four eleven. Uh, nine. Four, Okay, again, I don't know what ones these relate to. 9, 4, 11. Okay. But that's... is that what we... Oh, no, that was, that was different. Okay, made by Elvin... Uh, Yish... how do you say that? Uh, Yeshaluk, uh, Vsop, four years old. So that's going to go there. Four years old? There's a, there is a number four. Uh, we start four years old. I don't see any other clues that would relate to that. So let's put that... Oh! Okay. So that has now opened up some more things. I still can't go down and select the lower ones. Okay. So has that opened up anything else around here? Those numbers are still doing 11, 4, 9, still the same. So yes, there's definitely maybe more combinations that we can do. Can we see any more numbers anywhere then? Have we unlocked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did this one, the 12, 9 and 5. So that I've done. There's nothing else here. Can we see any more numbers? Them. So certain things that I'm looking at that could be potentially numbers. You've got the the barrels on the top there. You've got one barrel right above me, three up there, three, three. I don't think that's going to relate to anything. And you've got the wine bottles in the in the grids at the top there. You've got four, two, three. Though that, that's in threes potentially. And you've also got the, the lights in the kind of right in the top of the screen there, the, the sort of the green chandelier type things. There's 
that's potentially three numbers there. You've got one, two, three, this is four in the top row, four in the second, two in the lower one. That doesn't really seem to work. Um, okay, let's try, let's try four, two, and three. Uh, right, so four, We want the three and do we want the two? No. So that's not really doing anything well, unless hold on. Oh hold on. They've actually got colours. Look at them. So this one here, if you look um I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer here. Um but right above me, so there's four red bottles. Then above me here there are two uh the browns are ones with the but these ones look maybe green, maybe yellow. Maybe those the these ones are yellow. So let's try you want four red and three green. Four red. It was two two was the other one. Two with yellow and then three green. No. What about if I just swap these two around just in case I got the colours wrong? No, ah. Thought I was onto something there. Thought I was. And then these ones, the color, the, all the colors are all mixed up. That's four, four, one. So that's not anything then. Um, Got to be missing some other numbers somewhere. What are we missing here? Ah, okay. Hold on. So the numbers that are missing. On the lower hand, in Roman numerals, the same as the clock, we've got three, five, and seven. Three, five, seven. Okay, let's try three, five, seven. Uh, three. Five. Seven. There we go. That gives us one. Uh, 2122, Boulder area, famous for the smooth and sweet taste. Okay, so that has a number. We should have a number on the top row there which relates to that. Uh, we do not. But this this one here, where I'm right right now, has four spaces for numbers, whereas the one on the end is only three. So we could try that. Okay. Um, empty brandy bottle, a pretty glass wine bottle, memorial edition by Felro 2046. 2046. No wine bottle here, no bottle there, okay. Uh, confirm that. So we've got a bottle. Put it in here maybe? No. Ah. We can fill it up. So an amber coloured liquor and a memorial edition bottle, rather classy. Okay, so that... Oh, I, f I forgot I had a run button. Okay, here we go. So th now this clearly can go here. Ooh, the position of the name tags has changed, so the position of the wine bottles has to be adjusted too. Oh, seriously? Okay. Am I supposed to remember what was what? Because I don't. I can tell you that now. <laughs> okay. Um, the bottle cannot move. Oh. What? Okay. How do we know which bottle is which? That bottle cannot move, cannot move, cannot move, cannot move, cannot move. Okay, maybe the bottles can only move in a certain direction according to the arrows. Uh, cannot move, cannot move, cannot move. Okay, just reset that one. Okay, so that could move. So do we know, because these are all the, 
the same. Maybe I'll just have to swap them over. Are they... Okay. So maybe they can only move in the direction of the arrows that they're pointing, and they can only move one space, or if there's a space available. Uh, so we can maybe move that one there. Okay, and then we want to move this across. Now can we move... So cannot, so they cannot move. Yes, nothing can move. Okay, I think... Maybe, maybe I understand. <laughs> so that can't move. But that can move there. Okay. Oh, I don't think I want to do that, do I? Because now these, these won't be able to move, no? No, okay. Oops. So one at a time. So that one and that one. Over here. Then we want to move this across. Move that up. Oh, that might not have been what I wanted to do. I'm just trying to because now how am I going to get the other ones across? If I move that over and that, that one can't move. But that one can move over and that one can move over. However, I'm not going to be able to move that one. Yeah, so they can only jump over one of the, the other type of bottle. So you either move into a space or double jump. So you don't want to get two of them in place at the same time. So let's try moving this one over first. Um, do it like this. Then we can move that over. Then that one. Move that up. Now I think I think this works. Do it like this. Then move that over. Then that can move over. And that can move over. Jump that one across. Move that over. Here we go. That to there. Nice. Okay, I heard a switch clicking. Did it work? I better have done. Oh wow. Okay. Let's uh, let's try it. Oops. What have we uncovered? Oh yeah, because we were, that's right. <laughs> I haven't even thought about why we were doing this. Treasure, there's supposed to be some kind of treasure here. It's too dark down here. What's that flashing thing? Let's go and have a look. What is this? Dr. Wondertales. Who dares enter my territory? Wait, since you were here, you must have solved all the puzzles. You aren't as stupid as you look. <laughs> Thanks. Who are you? Who am I? Why, I am the famous Dr. Wondertales. Well, more specifically, I'm a copy of his consciousness. But there's no difference. Dr. Wondertales was the greatest adventurer of the, of the new generation. The Lord of a Thousand Riddles. I am also the indefinite visiting professor of the University Union. The blessed taster, the wine collector of the Seven Continents, lifetime champion winner of the PDC and also... The puzzles upstairs were designed by you? Of course. And more importantly, I'm stuck in this computer that's going to be scrapped. Can you get me out? I can offer you a knight's title. You see, I'm a noble marquee. I have the right to appoint knights. There's no way to connect this computer, and it looks extremely old. How did you get in there in the first place? That's not important. Now, be a good gentleman and push the internet connection button, please. Uploading copies of human consciousness is banned. There are many governments... Uh, AIs. Are on, there are many government AIs on the internet that specialise in hunting for private uploads, not to mention the bounty hunters. 
Don't worry about me, just press the button. Uh, after all, I'm a great adventurer. Nobody can catch me. Okay, uh, so let's have a look at our little file that we just picked up. Uh, talking about stories, you should have heard Dr. Wonder's Tales stories somewhere. Uh, Dr. Wonder Tales has been to every corner of the world, made countless friends and collected all kinds of mysterious treasures. Besides, he left behind so many exciting adventure stories. He lived on exploration and he himself was a definition of bravery. A uh, Sumatran blacktail monkey named Coconut went through all the adventures with the Doc and he had saved the Doc's life in a couple of critical moments. The Doc called him the best assistant in the world and their signature look was the faith hat on his head. His fortune started from what his grandfather had left for him. With a huge book collection and an impressive amount of funds, Zoc became a gentleman with both wisdom and wealth. He won numerous awards and credits with his talent, and he'd even acquired himself a knighthood. On an ordinary day of during peak time, Dr. Wonder Tales disappeared from the public. The rumour has that he had been killed in his adventure, that he had become an emperor on some island, or that he still lived somewhere with his monkey assistant. No matter what the truth is, he's become a legend from mouth to mouth. Okay. Okay, uh, I guess we push the button. Let's just have a quick look around, just to see if there's anything else here. Uh, the statue of the renowned Dr. Wonder Tales. I've been hearing this story since I was little. Okay, I guess we just push the button. So long, Mr. Knight. Call my name whenever you need help. And I will do my best if I hear it. Okay, it's gone. I'm just going to clear up this ancient computer trash now. Ah, forget it. At least I have a knighthood. My lady, Knight Rex has come upon thee. And he's ready for some rumpy bumpy, okay. <laughs> See, that's where his mind goes straight away. Why did he come from the cellar? Only employees are allowed down there. <clears throat> okay. You're not supposed to be here. Don't even try to steal the alcohol. Okay, so he's just blocking the entrance to the uh, cellar. Okay, well that was the side mission done. Not sure what exactly they got us. A knighthood. <laughs> Can we prove it to anyone? I guess maybe um, Dr. Wonder's Tales will, will help us out at a later date, I guess. Uh, right, well, let's go back to these guys here and uh, see if we can advance the story a bit more. What are you doing over there? Come have another drink. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll get, we'll get back. Uh, finish the night drinking? Yeah, I think we've done everything we need to do here. What took you so long? I was held back. Hey, it's all on me tonight. Drink as much as you like. I like the sound of that. Yeah, <laughs> you sure you've got enough booze in this joint? You know Rex is an alcoholic, right? <laughs> Just put it right out there. No one goes home sober tonight. Yeah, we're celebrating. Wah, chapter two. Guide is gone. Okay, we're going to have a major hangover right now. Ugh, my head hurts so bad. I shouldn't have drunk so much last night. How did they even get back home? Hey, BBX, bring me my sobering medicine. Uh, BBX is not fixed up properly yet. Oh right, that mobile junkie was out of commission. I guess I'll have to get it myself. There should be some in the cooler nearby. Okay, so we actually have a couple of updates. Do we have a thing? Uh, again, this is one of the things it doesn't tell me which ones have been updated. Um, so I don't know. Hmm, I don't know which ones have been updated, so I'm not going to go through them all to try and figure out which one it is. That's fine. Okay, so we have uh, find serving drugs in the little freezer. Well, I'll tell you what, since that is the beginning of chapter two, seems a good point to kind of leave it here. Uh, a little bit shorter than some of the other episodes, but um, 
I think we're doing all right. Uh, so yeah, I hope you had a really good Christmas and you're going to have a fantastic new year. Um, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Good to get back into it after my, my own Christmas break, which you wouldn't have noticed because I had uh, several videos up in advance um, already done. So we're just going to carry on with this game. And then after this game, I will, I'm thinking about maybe going back to the Talents Principle for a little bit, possibly. Uh, maybe try something else, but don't know. We'll see how we feel when we get to the end of this game, which I don't know how long it's going to take. Sure, there's plenty more of this left. Uh, so if you want to see all that one, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, we're actually, actually approaching 50 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. I didn't really expect anything of this channel, uh, and I'm definitely doing better than uh, than I hoped. Um, so <laughs> it's, it's awesome starting off a, a little, little tiny little channel and, and slowly seeing it build. Um, so please do leave me comments and likes. I do enjoy reading the comments comments and uh, seeing all my people who are watching these videos. Um, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Have a good time and I'll see you then. Goodbye.